understand. If our mothers were trying to save Max, why was there some rift between you? It's complicated. Is it? Because maybe you could have, I don't know, just spitballing here, not started an interplanetary war. I didn't. Really? Walk me through it then. You stepped off the ship. You set fire. Those men would have killed all of us. You are the reason they wanted to kill us. The reason they killed our moms. Everyone on that ship. I wasn't even supposed to be there. I was trying to rescue Max. Rescue Max from what? From what happened to me. He still had a chance. How did you even learn about him? Well, healing can create a psychic connection. Sometimes I would get little flashes or little bits of memory. One day they threw this half-dead rebel down in front of me. They wanted me to heal him so they could keep torturing him for what he knew. And that's when I saw someone chained up just like me. That's when you saw Max. As soon as I found out where they were holding him, I broke loose. It's real heroic. You walked a few doors down and you busted him out. That's the mule kick of all of it. The dictator didn't have him. Then who did? Your mothers. Our mothers traveled halfway across the universe to save our lives. They don't really seem like the type that would Frankenstein a kid. Nora convinced the dictator that she was on his side. She got injured one day. She wanted me to save her life. Looking back, that's when she stole my DNA. Mm -mm. Your mom's had the best of intentions. I fully believe that. But the dictator, he, he is unbeatable. He had abilities no one had ever seen. What kind of abilities? When I first got here, I met a preacher who told me the story of a great flood. Our world had a similar catastrophe, but with fire. And through the devastation walked the one who would become the dictator. The flames couldn't touch him. Word spread that he was immune to death. And the world rose in his image from the ash. Are you saying that he was immortal? No one knew for sure. But there were rumors. As for me and Max, we were just ammunition. Caught in the middle of an active war zone. That's why I had to rescue him. Nobody wants to let a weapon go. And we were too useful to be set free. If you don't believe me, ask Max. He was there too. I don't need to. Because I know the truth. Are you really telling me you wouldn't do anything you could to protect the people you love? That's why you're still standing here, isn't it? Just because you don't want to believe him doesn't mean he's not telling the truth. And you think the truth is that our mothers made Max? Well, someone did. So why not let discount Max tell us his version and go from there? I cannot believe you're actually buying his book. I'm not! You think that Jones is playing poker down there? So do I. The only difference is I'm not trying to show him our hand. Everything he says is a lie. Nobody lies about everything. And I'm willing to bet that there is at least some truth to what he is saying. Story time's over. And what exactly did you hear down there that proves that Jones deserves to die, hmm? Or did you stop listening the minute he implied that your mother's story is a little less black and white than you thought? <laughs> Maybe you're right. I can't hear anymore today. Let's pick this up tomorrow. 